Okay, so water problems in your house. Uh, most people know that if you, um, th th there's a water valve on each of your fixtures, okay? You're both your sinks and your toilets. Now, let's say your toilet starts to overflow. Most people know you can just reach down here. Come here, Lily. Daughter Lily's helping me film today. You reach down here. Can you see around me? Uh -huh. And you're just going to tighten this up, okay? And that will shut off the water. Then you can run and get your plunger or do whatever you got to do. Now, but what if your house bursts a pipe? Then what do you do? Well, you got to shut off the water main shut off valve or the water main. Great. Got to shut that off. Where is it? Come on, I'll show you. Now, zoom back up on me, Lily. <laughs> okay, go back a little bit so you can see me. Okay, all right, all right, there you go. Okay, so we're outside the front of the house. Usually, the water meter and your main shutoff valve are right together. They're, they're housed in the same unit, and it's usually near the street so that the county can come and read your water meter easier. Now, to get this open, you can come in a little bit now, Lily. All right, now, to get this open, you're going to need something to open this up. Now, there's two types of these. Sometimes it's round and there might be a key that you need, which you can buy at your hardware store. Um, but this one, you can just kind of jimmy it up. I conveniently have a spoon already. Okay, so you're going to pull it up. All right, now. I've never seen you do this before. I know, it's cool, huh? Okay, so now it's a mess in here, right? There's all kinds of dirt and grass and yuck. Yuckies! I know. Okay, now this is the meter, okay? This is what they read to tell you um, what your bill is going to be. And this right here... You may have to dig out some of the dirt, spoon's handy for that, to get to it, but this is where you actually shut your water off. Now, you can't do this, this is really tough to do by hand sometimes. So you may, there's actually a key that you can buy, it does not look like this. This is actually a key to uh, one of my air tools to switch the heads off of it, but huh? um, this actually works. So you can just take this and turn it off. You can also use a wrench, but there is a special tool they sell for this. But you're gonna turn this, again, righty tighty, lefty loosey, uh, to about 90 degrees to where these two holes lined up. And that turns off your water. Sometimes this is actually on the side as well. Come up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can minimize the damage to your house that way, and then you can call your plumber and get the issue fixed. But that is, you need to know how to do that. It's very important. So, y'all. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed the, What's my name? the humor going. This is my friend Giselle. I don't know. What is your name? I've never seen you before. No idea. I don't know. It's my daughter Giselle. And Lily back here is filming. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a great day.